So, hello, how are you? So, last time we discussed uh, how to get the input characteristic uh, of VJD transistor for single VCE voltage. And now, uh, today we are going to discuss how to get um, uh, many curves for VCE, vo- many curves for different VCE voltage. So, let's see how to do that. And for that, I will get the same transistor BC for 549 this one this is the transistor you know this is an MPN transistor and then I need a voltage source VCE and VBE for oh, that I get this one this is the voltage source uh, just drag just up and when maximize it you can see it clearly this one I rename it as VBE and just drag very close not too much because we need to add the current probe here to get the IBE sorry IB this one is IB this is the current direction from uh, left to right like this this arrow uh, direction and I correct uh, rename it as IB and we need uh, voltage source for VB, VCE like this I rename it as DC volt and VCE and ok for the meter we have to ground it for that I take this ground this is the ground I connect the meter to the ground now you can see I just rename add then rename for VCE and VBE and current probe IB you can clearly see it IB this one here and so we need the graph for that I get this this one transfer under the graphs this one DC transfer curve analysis just drag it here and I select this whole graph sorry just select it you need to draw it back and just select and move the side and you can clearly see now and I am going to edit the graph so you can see there are two so I have to select the sources so VBE and VCE and that's all for that and I need to add the uh, trace I trace at IB at probe 1 and just press OK and simulate so you can see we got an error probe object IB is ambiguously placed simulation failed due to the netlist compiler errors this is the error so we have to correct that error so that uh, so when we just uh, you can see there we add all the probe uh, we added then added the source sources and I added the trace also as IB but here you can see I just uh, connect the current probe like this this is not the way we have to connect this so just delete it and you have to uh, connect it like this 
to the voltage probe is fine and you have to connect the current probe just directly to the line like this no need uh, do you don't need to connect that uh, small part just connect directly the probe to the line then you know, we will let simulate it again just save and simulate you can see now it's fine so just maximize it and you can see for the different voltages for VC E0 you can see IB IB is micro ampere 802 and this VCE milliampere VCE millivolt 100 uh, I maximize it by scrolling it and this is for 0 VCE this was VCE 100 milli ampere millivolt and this for the 200 millivolt and this was 300 millivolt and this was 400 and this for the 500 millivolt for the 500 millivolt the IB at this point is 102 micro ampere and for here uh, we see for 600 millivolt and for that IB is 96.6 micro ampere and these are different values for different VC, VCE you can see for VCE 1 volt at this point IB is 141 micro ampere VBE is 776.1 milli volt you can see when I uh, drag this line the IB and VBE is changed according to those points for single VC voltage this is the input characteristic for, for uh, different VC values for BJT transistor we select the BJT transistor as BC549 transistor I think you can understand uh, what I did and to get the uh, DC transfer characteristic for BJT input characteristic how to use this DC transfer curve and restore and you can see if you want to uh, export the graph you can export the graph like this just add some uh, name and it save as a data file and just go and uh, you can see just scroll down then it will get normal this is the I think you can understand what I did then let's meet with another video in another day thank you